we are team uh, Spotify Station, uh, recently building an uh, Android app for the challenge. And uh, our team consists of four members. Uh, myself, uh, my name is Boris. Uh, and Ellen, I'm from Denmark. Ellen is from India. Swain from uh, China. And Harrison from New Zealand, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. So, uh, our challenge was to design an Android application, um, and we, we developed an Android application as a server component uh, that tracks and cites the International Space Station in real time. So, um, what we did was we uh, gave the user useful information uh, on, via, by using uh, maps and augmented reality, which we'll get into later. Um, we integrated social media for sort of the, the fun aspect of it all. Uh, so through Twitter and our own server that lets people share images with each other that are using the app. Uh, we hope that the impact of this would be that it uh, generates interest and awareness uh, about space exploration. And uh, in fact, we didn't know that you could see the space station from, from Earth. Uh, and we didn't know that it, you can actually see it quite often if the conditions are right. So, we think this is a really cool thing to bring people together and people who may not be that used to doing space stuff, you can actually do it at your home and this is what our app will do, so we're really excited about this. Uh, we have a fully working beta version. Um, we developed it from scratch about a week ago and uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it now. So, some of the features are, we, we, built, we built our Android application but we also built a scalable and robust server. So even though this is a, a little fun thing we, we think, uh, it can actually also scale very well. So instead of, for right now, just having tens of users, we can have, it could scale to thousands of users. So we think this makes it quite a sustainable application because uh, you, can, you can grow it in size and the project can, uh, can expand and it's, it's meant to expand. Um, for this, we also used uh, so we yeah so we used the Google Cloud Messaging for push notifications, which we'll get into later. We used the uh, Google Maps and uh, weather information from Wonderground to overlay on the map. Um, we have location-based images uh, overlaid on the map, which means that when you take a, a picture of the station, you can share it on on your application, and it'll actually be viewable to anyone else who uses this application. So uh, when you take a picture, you share it, and it'll go up, and everyone else can see it as well. Um, then, of course, we have Twitter integration, so people who are not using this app or who don't know about it, when you share your image, other people can also see it and say, ah, this would probably be a cool idea to, to use and, you know, maybe download the app. And then lastly, uh, we did the, what we call the Camera Plus, which instead of using the, the standard uh, photo, um, sorry, the standard camera in the Android application, in the Android phone, we, uh, we overlaid it with the augmented reality, which means that you can, um, we get a much more enhanced user experience. And for novices, what this lets you do is it actually helps you see where the space station is. So you can turn around and we'll have a demonstration of it, um, which for beginners is a, is a pretty good thing to, to do because it's a big world and uh, where should you start looking? So, yeah. All right, so we're going to the demonstration. This is our app. Um, and what it does is, you have um, we, our server sends what's called a push notification to uh, our Android app. Uh, this does that instead of having the Android app constantly checking a server to see uh, has something happened yet with the ISS, can you see it? We, we offload all of that to the server so that it conserves battery and it conserves the data consumption on the Android application. So that's, that's what this point, uh, that's what the server is about. And the server also has zones, so that uh, whoever is in, a, in, in one zone, um, all the users who are registered based on DPS location in that zone, it'll continuously check and see when it should notify each user. All right. So, yeah. so uh, we don't have a space, uh, we don't have an ISS viewing at the moment, so we're going to have to simulate it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have uh, Wayne send a, oh, okay. Wayne has sent a notification from the server. And it's popped up on, on our app here, saying that uh, now there's an ISS site and you should go and check it out. And the first thing you see is the Google Maps, and it'll automatically zoom in to your current location based on your GPS coordinates. And uh, from here, we can track the ISS, uh, the International Space Station, 
and uh, sorry, can you just zoom out a bit? We can see where it is. So, so this is uh, this is live data, and it will continuously update the uh, the location of the International Space Station as it goes along. So now that you you have the International Space Station, it's in your viewing field. Uh, you might like to take a picture of it. So. Um, we're going to have to take a picture of the audience for now, if we don't have a space station. <coughs> so you will end up on Twitter. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so, so now that we've... Uh, yeah. So once you've taken the picture, you uh, now have two possibilities. You can either share it on our server, or you can share it to Twitter. So for now, we'll just share it to Twitter, uh, and you have to authorize the application. Uh, and you give a, a little status update, you know, what's going on. Uh, why are you sharing this uh, image of a bunch of people? Uh, so we tweet it. And uh, the other thing we could have done was uh, share it, as I said before, with the location-based images, where it, it uh, overlays it on the map. We'll see shortly how that works. So uh, you take a photo at your current location on Google Maps, a marker will appear. And you can, anyone else, you, you and yourself included, can click on it, and it will take you to the image, and you can see it. So, uh, yeah, and the tweet has appeared over here, you see? Uh -huh. um, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, um, so what should we do now? The, uh, yeah, sorry? Oh yeah, so we can see what we did yesterday, because we don't have time right now. We took a bunch of pictures um, and shared them on Twitter, and now they appear on the map with a little yeah. That's our office. Yeah, so that's our lounge at the moment. Yeah. And this is our server that is landed on, not uh, some other server. Do we have all of this? Yes. Yeah. And finally, yeah, finally, can we move the markers? Because there might, you know, as this application grows, there might be hopefully thousands and thousands of images, and it might get a bit cluttered. So for usability purposes, you can remove all the, all the markers. And uh, if you click on the marker now, the blue mark indicates you, and it'll give you weather information. So if you're sitting inside the room and you get a notification, would you actually be bothered looking at it right now? Maybe not if it's uh, rainy or whatever. So you get the information straight in your phone. And then the final feature, which uh, we thought was really cool, was the, the camera plus application, which uh, what it does is, yeah. So uh, on the camera, we have a compass, and we can track the location of the... So by, right now, you can see N for North, and ISS is the space station. And when you move around, if you align the, the yellow bar with, with the line, it will tell you where the space station is. So when you have your, your phone here, you move it around like that, and when you are aligned right now, so Illinois aligns the phone with North, and if she goes on, it'll align it with the International Space Station. And so, you move around, so when it's in the horizon and it's visible, you should look over there. Uh, and it'll also give you, you can see right now, if you just go to the screen, of the, the text, yeah. So, it gives you your current latitude and longitude. Is the ISS visible? No, not right now. When is it visible? It's going to be visible at 9.58 a.m. today. Yeah, and the... Uh, okay, great. So, for uh, future steps, uh, we'd like customizable notifications, because right now it's just based on the uh, GPS coordinates. We'd like to be able to, um, to give the user more freedom to, to decide uh, where you want the notifications. We talked to uh, Mac McKay, who's a more advanced user of these apps, and he gave us some uh, ideas for future work. Um, for example, syncing with the calendar, so you can, you can choose dates that you would not like to get notified, you can choose dates you would like to get notified, and maybe have some kind of a uh, uh, sorry, no mind. Uh, yeah, that. And then we have uh, the Heavens Above website, um, which is for advanced users. So we'd like to integrate some of the information there because it has a lot of useful information. Uh, our app right now is more of a fun app, and if we could integrate it with uh, with the information from this site, we could have both a fun app, which uh, along with um, the advanced user app. And we could combine it all together, and this is where we really see uh, the novelty of our product. That we, yeah, we produce some creative stuff with this. Finally, uh, we have um, we have an idea of, of, of extending the 2D map to become a 3D environment. 
um, because phones are pretty good at this these days. And uh, we actually have a working model on a, pho on the, on a computer, but not on a phone at the moment. And we'd like to port it over, and then you could move around the, the world in 3D. And finally, uh, collaborators. We had quite a few collaborators, uh, which we talked to on Skype and, of course, Twitter. And we were going to arrange a Google Hangout, but unfortunately, due to the location of New Zealand, uh, not too many people were <laughs> up at our time, so that didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah. And finally, we'd like to thank uh, NASA and all you guys for participating and being part of the event. And we thought it was really fun, and we'd love to do it again. Thank you. Yes, because I, we didn't really, I mean, the reason we joined the competition was to build this app. Uh, that there was going to be a competition was sort of secondary, to be honest. It was okay. more about actually doing the app and... Uh, and, and we have a lot of courses that, uh, that teach us a lot of this kind of stuff, like the graphics, which is what I'm doing right now. And uh, Wayne and Boris have already done this course, so it would be really interesting to put it on a phone. And this phone looks really, really nice. Fact, it doesn't show on the, on the projector, unfortunately, but it's a really nice screen, so I think the 3D imagery would look <coughs> fantastic on it. So. Yeah, and for actually, this is what we wanted to do, but we thought we, sh we should probably have a working application before we went down and, yeah. and did all these extra stuff. Yeah, but we love to do stuff. Yes. Yeah. Now, was there, was there a division of labor? Yes. Who, who did what? Um, Wayne and Harrison, which we will be here today, uh, took care of the server component and integrating it all, and me and Boris took care of the client and the maps and the camera. I mean, we still worked, you know, changed a bit around, but mostly, yeah. mostly the, those were the ways we divided the task. Can I just understand, um, 48 hours ago, when we started 48 hours ago, where were you at with this and, how, and so, what kind of progress have you made over that period of time? We, we started Monday, uh, yeah. I mean not, not full time, but yeah. we started Monday to doing a, a yeah. bit of work on this. Yeah, getting the basic thing going. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, by Saturday we had the maps going, we had the weather going, yeah. we had partially the Twitter going, mm. and that was it. Yeah. And over the weekend we got the augmented reality camera going. We completed our Twitter integration and um, right. integrated it all yeah. because we had yeah. separate um, separate applications so we put it all together. Also the server bit where you can overlay on the maps and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you.